Everybody, welcome back to Miran TV. My name is Miran Kirikosian, and this month we have an awesome new house dance tutorial series with Harry Full Out of Weston from Versus Style Crew. Harry's been performing, battling, teaching all over the world for over 10 years, and his talents have allowed him to travel and teach in countries like Italy, India, Canada, Israel, just to name a few. Today, Full Out will be teaching you guys one of the most popular moves in house dance called the loose legs. Keep in mind, house dance music could be pretty fast, so take your time, learn this move slowly before you pick up the pace, and most importantly, just have fun and enjoy the process. Now, before we get started, if this is your first time on the channel, please make sure to subscribe, hit that bell to get notified every single time we release a new video. Also, leave your comments in the comment box. Let us know what you thought of this video and what else you would like to learn on this channel. Let's get started. Started. What's up everybody? My name is Harry Weston, AKA Full Out from Versa Style Dance Company. Welcome to today's house dance tutorial. Thank you so much to Miron TV for having me. Today, we are gonna learn how to do the loose leg. And as you can see, the logo in the back is flipped. So that means the video is mirrored, which means you can follow right along at home. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Let's get to it. All right, so today we are learning the famous loose leg one of the most sought after moves in the house dance repertoire, and let's get right to it. The most important thing that we're gonna do today in learning all of our house dance fundamentals is bending the knees and staying low to the ground. These are dances that come from the Afro and Latin dance styles, so everything is low to the ground, everything is bending of the knees, paying homage to Mother Earth, yeah? So always, always bend your knees, stay low, and the first move we're gonna do, we're gonna step out on the right foot, and you're just gonna go one. Now the really important thing with the loose leg to know, my teacher Rennie Harris always says it this way, you want to imagine that there's a rope right here and you have to step over that rope. You don't want to just step straight out. You really want to imagine that you got to go over the rope to step on that one. And as always, bend the knees and bounce on that first step. Yeah? So we jump out with the first step here and the second step is coming back on the left leg and then we're crossing. Cool? Try that one more time. Five, six, ready, and one, two, three. Yeah? Nice and easy, right? We're just stepping out with the right, stepping back with the left, and then the right is crossing in front. Yeah, and again, you can see I'm low to the ground, my knees are bent, always bouncing, moving and grooving. Yeah? First three steps, here we go. Five, six, and seven, eight, one, two, three. Cool? All right. Now, when we do that, we can then go to the left side. So we went one, two, three, and then we pick up the left foot. And again, imagine that there's that rope right there and you got to step over it. Three, and then stepping back with the right and four. Yeah? So again, really just breaking down the basics of the steps. Yeah? We're going to get to flavor and spice and style in a quick second. Yeah? But let's just get the feet first. So here we go. Five, six, ready, right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah? Here we go. One more time. Five and six and ready, go. One and two, three and four. Nice. Good, good, good. So the thing we want to implement too with this is something called the jack. Yeah, now the jack is the groove of all grooves. It's the groove that happens on all your house dance footwork. Now, just to give you a very brief explanation of the jack, it's just a bounce in the knees. That's all the jack is. It's just your groove, yeah? And you wanna do your best to implement that on all the footwork that you do, right? So if you pay attention to what my body is gonna do, when I step out, back, boom, I'm gonna come up, yeah? Bending out through the knees, and getting right ready for that next step, yeah? So as we go through this tutorial, make sure to try and watch what my body's doing as well as the feet so you can get the groove of this movement, all right? Let's try it with the loose leg. Five and six and ready, go. One and two, three and four. Good, 
Let's try a couple in a row. Let's do four in a row. Here we go. Five and six and ready, go. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Good, good. And we're going to add a little part to it in a second, but for now, let's just keep it right there. One more time. Five and six and ready, go. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Good, good. Now, everybody's favorite part. We're going to add some a little bit on top. We're going to add a heel, right? This is the kind of way that everybody does it these days. One, and now instead of just stepping across, we're actually going to add a heel and then a toe. Yeah? And it's a real quick movement, but once you get the groove of it, it falls right in. Yeah? So we go one and two and. Again, I'm still nice and low to the ground, and I'm just flicking out that heel, bringing it back with the toe. Try that again. Five and six and ready, go. One and two and. From here, step out, three and four and. Same deal, yeah? Try it again, nice and easy. Five and six, ready, go. One and two and three and four and. Good, now just so you can get a sense of what the body's doing, I'm gonna turn just to the side for a minute so you can get a sense and just watch and see how my body rocks. Rock, 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 rock. You see this action? This is the jack. And as much as you can, you want to start to implement that in your movement. You can check out the other house dance tutorial videos to see this applied to other movements as well. But for now, the loose leg. Here we go. Let's do four in a row with the heel and the toe. Ready? Five and six and ready. Go. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and. Let's go a little slower, yeah? Just to be sure we've got all the footwork together. Five, six, seven, go. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and. Now again, house music is fast, right? The tempo is really, really high, but the more you use your body, the more you dance, the more you bend your knees, and the more you have fun with it, the easier it will be. When we try it to music, we'll try it at a slow tempo, and then we'll turn it up a little bit, yeah? One more time, a little bit faster with the loose legs. Five, six, seven, go. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and. And you can end right there. Cool? Before we do with music, last little note. Loose leg is a style, yeah? You can take this movement anywhere you want. Don't feel confined by just doing it this way. And really, the OG original loose leg style was actually having a wiggle in the legs, yeah? And they did all the movement with loose legs, right? So once you get to the more advanced levels, and if you want to start trying it at home, you can add a loose leg feel to it. Now, obviously, that's at some more advanced levels, but I wanted to throw that out so you know where the original style comes from, all right? One last time with the loose legs, and then let's try some music. Five, six, do four, let's go. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and. Sound good? All right, let's try it with some music. All right, we hear the music, yeah? And just start bouncing your knees. We can just go at a slow tempo for now. Yeah, so we get a vibe and a feel, right? That's how fast our music is. And we're gonna go double time first. Yeah, nice and easy. Here we go. And five, six, seven, go. One and two, three and four, five and six, Keep going, keep going, find that rhythm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, couple more times. 
One, two, three, rock the body. Five, six, last one, last eight, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. Yeah? All right, can we up the tempo a little bit? It's gonna be that fast. Remember, keep your feet light and keep the body moving. Let's try a bounce. That's how fast we're going. Five, ready? Six, let's go. And five, six, five, six, ready, go. Nice, keep going. Rock the body. And five, six, five, six, seven, eight. All right, y'all, good job. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this house dance tutorial in the loose leg. Please keep in mind, these things take years to master, and it takes a lot of practice and a lot of repetition. Yeah, this stuff is not easy, especially when the music is going that fast. But keep trying, keep doing your thing. I'm sure you did great today. You can always just take the level down, right? Take the tempo down, and then kick it back up when you're ready. And as always, 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 if you can, go find a partner to do this with. These are social dances and they're meant to do with each other, safely, of course. My name is Harry Weston, AKA Full Out. Thank you, Mirror on TV, for having me, and I hope to see y'all again soon. Peace. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed this house dance tutorial, learning the loose legs with Harry Full Out Weston. Keep in mind, we will be releasing new house dance tutorials every Friday this month, so don't miss out. Also, don't forget to add your own little flavor to these moves and practice, practice, practice. If you end up filming yourself, make sure to hashtag me, Ron TV, so we can check it out and show you some love. If you wanna follow Mr. Full Out himself, I will have all of his social media links in the description box. Make sure to check it out and make sure to follow. And if this was your first time on this channel and you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell to get notified every single time we release a new video. Also leave your comments in the comment box. Let us know if you enjoyed this video and what else you would like to learn on this channel. I'll see you guys on the next one.